Hi boys and girls. Um, I am making a video today for us on the beginning of the trial of Jesus and um, going up through his crucifixion. Um, this is a very hard and difficult time for Jesus, for his followers. They're very confused, um, frightened, um, unsure of what the future holds for them. Um, and Jesus is an example of absolute, unwavering, unchanging love and forgiveness for everyone, uh, even those involved in putting him to death. So I want to um, read to you actually from one of the um, papers that Miss Erin uh, enclosed in your uh, fold in your packet that she sent to us um, that I want you to understand a little bit about what went on for Jesus after Pilate um, gave him to the crowd. Uh, Pilate was the Roman governor in that area. Remember the Jews were under Roman control and remember the people in the uh, sort of parade route um, that Jesus took on the donkey to Jerusalem were thinking that Jesus was going to be a king that would overthrow the Roman government. Well, now he's on trial, and this is the Roman governor who's um, trying him. The people who just a few days ago were shouting, you know, Hosanna, now are shouting, crucify him, crucify him. And Pilate has talked to him, and he can't figure out a reason to do that. In fact, he he's the Bible says he knows that they're, de they're delivering him out of jealousy. But he is kind of weak in that he will not make the decision to go against them. And so he asked them, who do you want to, me to release to you? Because it was a custom, a Roman custom, for them to release a prisoner at Passover. There was a prisoner, I guess he was kind of known, who was named Barabbas. And he said, do you want me to release Barabbas or Jesus? Okay, you've got Jesus who never did anything wrong, never sinned. And then you've got Barabbas who was like um, a person who would incite riots and a murderer, the Bible says. And the people asked for Barabbas. And he said, well, what am I going to do with this Jesus that's called Christ? And they said, crucify him, crucify him. And so he gave in. He had Jesus beaten, flogged, which the Romans were very, very expert at. Um, they beat a person's back just within uh, inches of dying. So Jesus' back would have been very, very shredded up and bloody. And after that, the soldiers then took him and stripped his clothes off of him, which would have been humiliating. They put a purple or scarlet robe on it. Some versions say scarlet. And they mocked him and they put a crown of thorns would have looked similar to this now this is not real this is plastic but i want to tell you that when you put this on and you press down or even as i was carrying this if i hit one of these points accidentally with my fingers it hurt and this is 
this is plastic. This isn't real thorns. So they put this on Jesus' head and pushed it down into his head. And then as it was on his head, they hit him with a, a reed or a staff. Um, and so every time they would hit him, that thorny crown would pierce more into his head, into his scalp. And they were mocking him and saying, Hail, King of the Jews. And they spit on him. They spit on Jesus. And Jesus took it. Jesus didn't retaliate. Jesus could have wiped them all out like that. But he didn't because he came to save. That's love. So after they got done with that, they ripped the robe off of him. Um, and then they put his clothes back on. And he had to carry the beam of his cross. A cross, you know, is made of two beams. Well, the one beam, they would have the um, prisoner carry, the person who was being crucified. So he had to have that raw, heavy wood on his back that was already you know totally in pain um he had to carry that and the bible says that um he stumbled you know under the weight of that and the the romans grabbed a guy from the side to help him carry it and his name was simon simon of cyrene um then they took him to the hill called golgotha and they nailed him to the cross and they crucified him. He asked God when he was on the cross to forgive those who were crucifying him. Because he said they don't know what they're doing. And he gave up his life so that we could live. So that we could have a relationship with God. As he was hanging on the cross, if you look at this picture here, you notice there's three crosses because Jesus was in the middle and there were two thieves or robbers crucified with him, um, one on his right and one on his left. Um, if you want to read the gospel accounts of the crucifixion, it will tell you a conversation that he had with the robbers. And it will tell you that he, even on the cross, was thinking about his mother. And he gave instructions for his mother, Mary. And as you can see, this is probably Mary. And this is John, the apostle. When, when they hung him on the cross around noon, it says in the Bible that it became dark. And it stayed that way till 3 o'clock. And then at 3 o'clock, something happened. And I want to show you this picture. So maybe you can find this in your packet that Aaron sent you. That's the curtain into the temple. And it says that the curtain tore when Jesus said it is finished. The curtain tore from the top to the bottom. That What that represents, what that means, is that... This curtain used to uh, separate in the temple the part where only the high priest could go once a year to offer prayers for the people. Now that curtain was gone and that meant we could all go to God ourselves. We don't have to have a high priest to go in our place. Jesus made himself our high priest. Okay? So I hope that tells you a little bit about the crucifixion of Jesus. And now we're going to do this little folder activity. I'm going to stop this video so I can turn it around because I can't figure out how to do that while the video is running. So I'm going to stop it and then I'll start it again to do the folder game. Okay, I hope you can tell that these are crosses on this folder game and we have um, 13 questions here that I'm going to ask you and we have these little crosses um, that are the choices okay that you can 
choose from. All right. Okay, we'll start with the first question is who betrayed Jesus? Okay, I'm going to give you two choices here. Was it Judas or was it Simon? Which one is correct? If you said Judas, that is correct. Judas Iscariot, one of the 12 apostles. Remember that? How much money was Judas uh, given to betray Jesus? Was it 20 pieces of silver or was it 30 pieces of silver? If you said 30, that's correct. All right. How did Judas die? Remember? Did he die from being pierced with a crown of thorns? Or did he die because he hanged himself? Because he couldn't cope with what he had done to Jesus. Hanged himself is the correct answer. Who did the crowd want Pilate to let go? Who, who did they choose? Who did they choose? Was it Barabbas? Sorry about that. My big thumb got in the way. Barabbas? Or was it Simon? Remember that name that I said when I was telling you the story? Barabbas. Barabbas. He was a murderer. Okay. What color of robe did they put on Jesus? You might you might ask um, purple or scarlet. Um, why did was that color chosen? And this says scarlet, which to me is more like red. But purple was a color for royalty. It was an expensive cloth. I just scratched myself with the crown of thorns. Um, the it was an expensive dye to make clothes purple. They had to dye them, and that was a color of royalty because royalty were wealthy. So that's the color of robe they put on Jesus. Who did they get to carry the cross of Jesus? Now, finally, was it Simon? Or did the two thieves carry Jesus' cross? Well... From what we talked about, the two thieves would have had to carry their own, right? So they pulled a guy out of the crowd, Simon of Cyrene, and they made him carry the cross with Jesus. What was put on the head of Jesus? That one I know you know. The crown of thorns, right? Xander and Lydia and Ada and Miss Cammie and I were walking on the bike path back before we had the stay-at-home order and there's a plant along the bike path that looks like it could have been used. It's, it's a very thorny plant and if you twisted it all around, it, it really looks like... Um, what maybe the crown of thorns could have been made out of. What was placed in his right hand? Okay, I'm sorry, we didn't talk about this. Remember they're mocking him as a king. They're saying, hail king of the Jews, hail king of the Jews. And he, what does a king hold in their hand? If you remember the Old Testament story of Esther, when she went before the king, he had to hold out his scepter right well of course they didn't give jesus a scepter they were mocking him so instead they gave him like a reed or basically a stick a plant to hold all right i think i one of these is missing so we'll skip that one we'll go to the next one um 
What did they say to mock Jesus? Oh, I just told you the answer to that, didn't I? This is the king of the Jews. They were saying, hail, hail, king of the Jews. And they were saying, oh, if you're so great, come down from the cross, save yourself. You could save other people, but you're not saving yourself. And could have Jesus saved himself? Absolutely. But that was not the plan. That was not God's will. And we wouldn't be talking about this today if Jesus hadn't have followed God's will. Because we wouldn't be studying the Bible because we would have no relationship with God. Where was Jesus crucified? I mentioned that briefly. Golgotha. It's also, this means the place of the skull. Like a, this might seem funny to mention, but in Peter Pan, remember Skull Rock? Um, I don't think this place looked like that, but maybe there was something that made them call it the place of the skull. Maybe just because of people dying there. But Golgotha was the name of it. And what happened to the garments of Jesus? They gambled for them, or the old language for that was they cast lots for them. So um, when they stripped them, when they put them on the cross, the soldiers were gambling for his clothes. So somebody, one of those soldiers, got his clothing. Okay, then there's a question here. This, what sign was placed above his head? It's kind of <clears throat> the same as this one. Um, he's Jesus, the King of the Jews. Um, Pilate said to put that sign up there. And the Jews said, well, don't put that there because that's what he claimed to be. And he said, what I have written, I have written. And he was the governor, and so they could not go against that. So that's the sign that was above his head. And then, who was crucified with Jesus? Was it one, two, or three thieves? Or robbers? Two thieves, right? And that is our lesson today about the crucifixion of Jesus. Tomorrow we will be talking about um, the the uh, burial of Jesus tomorrow. That's what our folder is about tomorrow. Uh, Jesus burial. Uh, enjoy your rest of your day and stay warm. Unfortunately, Ohio weather, it's gotten chilly again. Bye-bye.